Hi, hello, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings. We're starting episode 14 off right now of this evil campaign playthrough. The lands of all men will fall. Last mission, I th believe we did with Saruman over here. So this is going to be one for loot probably. And we're just going to work our way to the right. So we're just going to do all missions in the left first. And I guess this is the mission that's the most in the left right now. So we should start on that sure let's try it hopefully it's not too difficult if it is too difficult we can always just reload the safe and try another mission let's get into this this mission i already forgot the name its villages and people will crumble beneath sauron's armies all right some nice little bridges some troll dens what we can see a nice mountain range in the back check it out Gondor, so we're not against Rohan anymore. Destroy a Gondor base and use it to set up your camp. Alright, do we have any bonus objectives? Six slaughterhouses. Interesting. First of all, gonna get Lutz out there, of course, because he is destined to level up this mission. And we're gonna get an Uruk pit as well, because our command points are not at the maximum yet. And it is something that you will always be striving to do, of course. These bridges look pretty, pretty nice. Let's just have Lutz explore the area a bit. And we have already... Why, why does every mission have to be like this? Well, yeah, he's, he's gonna die, isn't he? Come on, let's let's try and I mean, well yeah, this yeah, well, well yeah, well, well, why, why, the, well, you know, you know maybe I should just quit this series and start a new one right away because, well, yeah, well. Yeah. Let's try that again, I guess. But this time we're gonna build just three towers in this encampment, and that's gonna be it. If they, I don't know if if the event that of them all charging us will be triggered again automatically, or if it was just me moving up. But let's just, for safety reasons, just build up a nice little sentry post here, and then maybe they'll be able to hold them off a bit longer. It's episode fourteen of this series, we've come a long way. This is probably like my. 50th video or a bit bit more than 50 in the lord of the rings battle for middle earth actually with a good campaign combined that is and i i still enjoy it a lot even though i sometimes enjoy it a bit less than other times but i've talked about i've talked about that enough in the past about this game kind of getting on my nerves sometimes so let's talk about some other things oh they do a lot of damage on um, the tower it seems it, well it doesn't seem like that it's just it's objectively objectively is the case they do a lot of damage on those towers but uh, as i expected they just storm our encampment again but this time the towers will hold them off a bit in a bit of a better way i think let's make sure this troop down here isn't in too much trouble we're probably gonna have to move them up they're of course not moving at all and not firing because that's how the AI in this game works. Wow, this tower can reach quite far. I guess it's on the high ground though. We should have definitely grabbed that treasure chest, but it's no biggie. Let's just move them up. Lutz can meanwhile bombard them from on top of here. I think you should be able to do that though, right? Yeah, and that will be some nice XP for him, for him as well. Let's see, you guys can now help out your buddies down here. The Warks need to stay back because they have spears. So that's going to be really, really effective against Warks. And I'm going to send Lurts in there with his power. Let's make sure none of our troops die right here. Lurts, you need to go a bit more to the back line, buddy. Let's see, we need to get this ar these archers out of the way. I think all of our troops are fine for now. This shouldn't be too big of a problem either. I mean, it should all be fine for now. And that does seem to be the case. This last one is just over here chilling, but Lutz will be able to deal with him. And there we go. That's the first wave of attackers that like ended the mission for us last time. Already fended off for now. We almost lost this troop, but I think that's the closest we got on any of our troops. And I think we didn't actually suffer any casualties at all in that first sequence of this mission, which is fine. Alright, and we're back to the same old shit right now. Let's see, can Lutz handle off these guys? Probably not, huh? 
Nope, not at all. Let's get some Warg Riders in there for some quick support. Maybe that will let him survive. Of course it won't because everything one-shots him. This area might also just be a bit too overleveled for Lurtus army because they're all not that high level at all. But our Wargs are doing a fine job of thinning them out over here. Let's send one troop ahead and to get this ar these archers out of the way. Now the rest of the day is gonna be quite action-packed for me. Got some squashing planned later today. Jesus flippin' Christ, I'm so tired of this bullshit. I've got some squashing planned later today and then after that we're probably going out for some drinks with my buddy Simon who's also on the Minecraft server who I get angry on. Who I get angry upon most of the time because he just is so lazy and stuff. But yeah, for example he didn't replace the anvil that he smashed in our blacksmithing area but that's something for a minecraft video that you guys can see because it's included in the time lapse that i've recorded already need to record the rest of the episode itself though but i want to finish off this project as soon as possible just so that i don't have to be annoyed by these games mechanics anymore because it's just it's really becoming a bit too much it's just the same every single mission which means that i will be talking about the same thing every single mission as well and I, I, that's not gonna be that enjoyable for that much longer i can imagine they just yeah yeah no i'm not even i'm not even gonna repeat it i'm gonna shut up for a while and i'll just come back to you once some more interesting things happen i'm gonna let my work scout the bottom area of this map now and you can notice that i've started to shut up a lot earlier and that's because i want to make these videos really short so that i can only just show the action parts now I know that RTS isn't always about action normally, like it's a large part of RTS style games is setting up your base and stuff and making sure that everything is in order before launching your attacks and stuff, but I don't think that's going to be that enjoyable to watch and especially not in such an old game where the graphics are also not that great or something, so gonna switch it up a bit and try and make these videos as short as possible by just including only the meaningful parts and stuff. So we did find one small little encampment down here. We're going to use that to strengthen up our forces a bit more and to finally gather some resources. Let's get some more crossbowmen going, I think. Are these guys fine? Yeah, Luch is just holding off the base together with our sentry tower, so they should be fine in, def in defending themselves. I just need to shift my attention to the wargs completely for now and explore the rest of this area and just get some of their resources buildings out of the way and stuff. Got another slaughterhouse going over here because we do need eight for the bonus objectives, of course. I, I actually don't remember if it was eight, but for some reason I seem to think that it is eight. I'll check in one second right now. Six. It's only six. All right, so it should be easy enough. And in worst case scenario, I can just destroy all the buildings that I have in my base that are not slaughterhouses and just build, build them up at the end real quick. But that's all worries for the future. I wonder if we're gonna need siege works in this mission as well, or if they are just all gonna have like these small, smaller sizes of encampments. So we are definitely going to need some um, some siege works, but that's something that we're gonna have to build in another encampment. Maybe we should try and get this out of the way. If we get the opportunity sometime, let's have Lutz destroy this farm up here real quick, and then we can just let these troops advance a bit further. Let's see if we can notice where their secret ent entrance to this encampment is, and then maybe we can just station our works outside there and make sure that none of their troops are able to leave this encampment. Let's just make sure these works don't get ambushed too hard, because I know that they won't respond even if they are getting bombarded by like 50 troops of archers over here. This, there's a little green spot on the map. I think it's just their elven forest though, right? Yeah, it does seem to be that case. And this is exactly what I was talking about that I didn't want to happen. Looks like they already got our troop. They already got our troop of crossbowmen out of the way. And their secret entrance is supposedly somewhere around the back of their base. There, yeah. So it's this building spot that they used for their secret entrances. So let's just make our works work defend defend this area our war riders and then we should just be fine to let them stand there and they will make sure that no more troops pester us from this area 
I don't know where that power was used, but I don't think it matters for now. This amount of crossbowmen should be able to deal with three troops of elves though, right? They don't have fire arrows either, so I think they should be fine. Probably gonna make some losses, but that doesn't matter that much. This camp seems to be quite fine, so I'm gonna destroy one of these towers and get a um, upgrade building right there, an armory, that's the name I remember from the last episode. They are just letting themselves get bombarded again as they are prone to do, that's not good. Let's get the armory going and then we will get fire arrows and all that good stuff for our new crossbowmen, if they do survive with 50 troops of their own against 3 troops of elves. Let's move everyone back a bit, we're gonna need to build a siege work somewhere, I think it might be time to advance our troops up here. Let's see, are they chasing all the way? They sure are. Let's just attack the last troop and then they should be smart enough to attack the first one as well, huh? Let's select everything that is up here and try and rake this encampment a bit because I think that might be a nice base to start from and we should just not be scared about losing troops anymore at all i think that's going to be a healthier approach just send them straight to their death and not care about them too much this is what i get annoyed by the most definitely them just standing there and getting shot at without doing anything in return you know what, I'm just gonna record like three episodes after one another I think today just to just to get this game out of the way. I'm saying it out loud. I'm I'm pretty pretty goddamn tired of this game's mechanics. And it's not the game's fault of course because it's just extremely old so they probably didn't have all the measures they have today to complete this coding and this game in general it's not the game's fault at all it's just my choice of game of course which i i still do not regret but it it does become tiring sometimes did i actually use my siege works yet probably not and i'm full on command points so that's also great well these troops apparently wanted to die so i mean that solves the problem i think they just run straight to here so you, you guys can die don't worry i'll just let you die that's handy so that makes me able to create some better ring ramps so that's a that's a win-win situation if you guys want to die you can die and then there we go let's just get our entire army over here and try and make the best of the rest of this mission huh? let's just try our best to actually destroy some of these towers and then maybe we will still have a chance for some reason our fire arrows can't damage these towers either, even though they could with the Rohan thing. I guess that's because these things are made of stone and the other ones are made of f or made of wood. But uh, I don't know why they would put that into the game, but they don't have time to code regular old AI, huh? No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just salty. I definitely need to fix my attitude before recording the next couple of videos, though, because this isn't going to be enjoyable to listen to. Is it going to be able to destroy that? No, not at all. So we need to make like 15 more, probably, but we don't have any command points left to do that. And I haven't even talked about anything non-gameplay related this episode, just because the game is taking such a big toll on me. So yeah, I've been recording for almost 30 minutes and I haven't talked about anything non-gameplay related. So there's one little subject that I did want to spend some time into talking to. And that's an interesting fact I noticed about us humans the other day. And it is like, in your own house, if you have multiple doors, which I think most people have in their house, you can most of the time hear just which door it is and you can notice where everyone in your house is going which i think is pretty weird because if you're at someone else's house you don't have that ability of course because you're not used to the sounds of those doors but it's the same with stairs some houses have multiple multiple stairs i don't suspect everyone has two pairs of stairs in their house of course but there are some people that do have that and i think it's just really funny how you can kind of hear in your own house which pair of stairs are being used and you can kind of suspect that way where everyone in your house is going because i don't think animals supposedly have that kind of thing maybe they do i wonder if like for example moles can kind of detect which tunnels are being used in their network and can thereby determine where everyone is that's that's an interesting question i don't know if i could ever find the answer to that i don't think everyone has researched that and if they did well kudos to you that's a really interesting topic that you thought of i mean but it's just interesting for example if you hear someone coming up the stairs 
you can be like oh where is he going is he just going to the bedroom or if, is he actually going to their room and you can actually just hear that by which door they use and i think that's just an interesting little quirk that we humans possess so i'm just sending my entire army in here right now i i don't care if they die anymore i wonder if we need to destroy these towers as well because in that case we better get some more battering rams going of course because all of ours died trying to ram down the gate Lurch is dead again? Uh, did, did, did someone just say I hated him anyway or did I mishear that? Because that would be a nice little detail. I think he, he is probably not that likable of a man probably because I think he is a pretty... I think he's a pretty strong commander but I think he's also gonna be very strict and stuff and he's not gonna take lightly to mistakes probably I could imagine. Well, it's a bit sad that that was it, because now Lutz is gonna be without an army. But at least we did get this mission out of the way after 32 minutes. Man, I really hope the next missions are a bit easier, but... I wonder if Lutz carries over, I guess he thinks. Man, look at this hype. Where's the time where we were hyped to record this game? Uh, that has been a while. We only have 7 troops left. Yeah, I guess I need to rename these guys Annoyed as well, because I was just a whiny little bitch this entire episode. And I should definitely change that up for the next one and pump myself up a bit. Maybe play another game for a while right now, just to get myself hyped up. All that lies between Mordor and we need to do Osgiliath in the, the next one. City of That's not gonna be fun at all, either. Oh, Bye-bye.